Hello everybody, I'm on the apron and today I'll show you how to replace igniter plug from APU. So let's take a look at it. Before we start I need to pull uh, CBs. Uh, even though I'm working alone on this plane you never know who can arrive. So safety first. Now we can switch off the airplane. Yep, let's uh, start with the uh, replacement. Okay, let's go. one on the left side so, first thing first first of all cable it looks good yeah great that will remain Look with these lights. Yeah, better. But we'll never see some. in gently good that door wrench set now we can tie it okay to apply never cease on the thread which connect igniter and the lead itself sit nicely inside then not gently tied by the hand okay. 
And final torque. Good. So that's one. And we can move to the other one. This one is a bit higher, but you know, with the platform it's very easy. So again, we can remove the lead. By the way, we have just that. Uh, out connector looks good uh, by the way we have uh, two igniter plugs but we have just one ignition unit which is uh, here on the side and that one supplies both the igniter plugs now igniter, pl igniter plug Yeah, huh. that one looks a bit more worn, but that's why we are here. Again, never sees on a thread. Yeah, again, install it inside. Don't forget, when you use a wrench, just your hand. And when it's there, okay. Now we can target. Good. Good. That's tight. So this is installed. This is installed tight. Tight, tight. That thing is touching. That's good. Okay. Both uh, igniters replaced. We can close it and perform test. Oh. Do it. It's not very easy to close the right side door, but there is a grip on it. You just push it a bit outwards and push the handle. That will let you to close it.
are down. Now I'll pack all the tools and we'll move to the cockpit and perform the test. Okay, I'm back in the cockpit, so we'll close the CBs, which we pulled for replacement. And the aircraft. Then for the fire test, of course, one CB to pull. And yeah, after airplane will wake up, I'll perform test. Since aircraft is uh, finally powered, we can perform test. Good. So you can close CB. Why actually we pulling this CB? Airbus recommends to pull this CB during fire test, which uh, decrease uh, possibility of uh, discharge of the APU fire bottle during this test. So it's uh, this is the only reason. So if we clear this and we can start APU. Batteries. Fire test. Perform. Boom. Master switch. We'll wait until we get uh, a few doors open, and then we'll start. Okay. Yep. Flap is open. A few start, and we're gonna monitor indication. But yeah, now we know since EGT are going up, we know that uh, ignited plugs actually works, which is good. If you use available, we'll wait a few more minutes and we'll shut down, and then I'll go back to perform a check if everything is okay. Well, it looks good, so we can uh, shut down APU. Of course, it takes some time to switch up because uh, you need to pass a cooling procedure. But in uh, one minute, APU will shut down. We can see that we have zero percent of uh, RPM now from the electronic box itself. Switch off. We have no indications, which means that uh, APU is off and we can go back to take a look and we are there that's a flap which uh, was shown on the on the ecam what does it mean when on ecam it shows a uh, flap open that the doors are open and apu is ready to switch on uh, without Without that indication, that uh, flap open, APU will not switch on. So, let's take a look inside. As you can see, Everything looks good. Everything is tight. By the way, here is a screen where you can see the oil quantity. It's still okay. It's between full and add. So it's good. And yeah, uh, by the way, yeah, this is the flap which I've been talking about. Yeah. This will open up and We'll let air go inside of the duct and then into the load compressor and into the APU itself. Yep, that's it. We can uh, close it and yeah, we can go. This was video about APU igniter plugs. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer to you. Please don't use this video as a replacement for uh, AMM. Always use the latest documentation released by manufacturer. And uh, 
all what's remaining is to switch off the airplane thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye